Hey guys, this is a Milo special, and I'm gonna be posting this a little late in the, you know, night, like about 11, maybe 10, 50 something o'clock. This is what if Deku was in the zombie apocalypse part three, the final chapter, and this is gonna be a long one, so sit down, get your snacks, and this is going to be more about how this whole virus started, how Deku's going to finish it all, and how the climax of the story is going to end with multiple of our favorite characters being killed off or either becoming more prime characters. And if you guys like this, what if I might continue this series or this little, you know, three way, uh, this, uh, was it? this little, well, three part series. So if you guys like the ending, I could, you know, bring it back for next year or bring it back for later this year as well a normal what if now i won't be doing part three for what if deku was the descendants of the sanders sisters because mainly guys you only i only got like 45 views on that so i'm not gonna just waste my time and record a video that probably will only get 20 views so yeah guys and please if you watch my channel and you subscribe just watch my videos you don't even have to really even watch them just hit them on your tv or turn on your phone and watch them just so i can get the views other than that, I am going to be starting to make a lot more content that you guys more, you, you probably will enjoy watching better or more than my what is. Because I'm going to start doing story times and other things like that. And I'm going to be focusing more on stop motions. Also, my spawn Halloween special stop motion is going to be pushed back, pushed back to November 16th. And, or it might just be, it, it might just be a Thanksgiving stop motion at that point. So yeah, but because I had to get the voice acting, the effects done, and everything, and I kind of slouched on it after I got the main recording of the stop motion done. I didn't, I took, you know, time off, and I didn't edit it. So when the time came, I didn't have enough time. So I'm going to be pushing that back until November 4th, or the end of this week, or probably like near Thanksgiving break. But let's just dive right into this fanfic, and let's just get right, right into the story. Now we left our story off where, well, the the main villains would have been attacked by some sort of robotic monster, pretty much zombie, as twice, as twice, and well, uh, twice, Dobby and a couple others in the group of villains somewhat survived. We get switched to well, the main team we left off of when they were pretty much introduced to the Todoroki family. Now, the Todoroki family would have warmed up to this new group, Deku, Kirishima, and Mina. As they all would have been talking, as eventually they would have told themselves about the same plan they had to leave Japan before it was nuked. So they would have made their mission or well went their way. As last time we left off, they were attacked by something, but they would have handled that relatively okay. Now, what would happen after that? We could switch to the team going down the highway as they would have been walking down there, trying to get near the next pretty much big type of car dealership so they can get a car to get to the edge of the city faster. Now, what would be happening because all the trains were ran down and half the trains didn't work anymore. Now, as they would have been walking down to the car station, as he would have heard a rattle. As Deku would have turned back, him sensing something, as he would have seen a white zombie, a modified zombie running right towards them, with about 50 of them seeing another, uh, well, 50 of them, of the zombies being right behind that white one. As the white one would have been leading a charge with other modified zombies that Deku's never seen before. Zombies with spikes, zombies that look like werewolves and zombies, that just looked like humans but were covered in blood with knives and other pointy objects coming out of them. Basically their bones mutated into weapons. Like how, I can't remember, the bone frog, I can't remember what type of frog it was, but the frog that breaks it, breaks its bones and makes it into weapons for the, you know, pretty much prey or the, pretty much defend himself against predators. Now what would happen as well, Deku would have told the group to start running as they would have started to sprint and sprint Eventually, some of the group splitting up. Kirishima and Ashido basically splitting up, and Deku splitting up with Todoroki, and 
pretty much the other Todoroki family splitting up as well. As they would all split up as they would try to figure out where each other was. As they knew where they were going to go, so all of them went on the same area or they pretty much went to the same area they were going, the car dealership. As they would have gone down there. As they were going down there, as we get switched to Mina and Kirishima. As Kirishima and Mina are walking down, as Kirishima starts to, starts to talk to Mina, as Mina and Kirishima start to talk more, as De Kirishima mentions about, you know, their school life and how life has been for her the past couple weeks or before, you know, everything went down. She said it was, be it's okay, or it was going okay until all of this happened. I wish I could have told my mom I loved her for the last time. I don't even know where she is now. She's probably dead. As Kirishima says, don't think that. She she probably is alive. It's been months, Kirishima. She's most likely dead. She hasn't found me yet. As Kirishima says, don't think that way. The group would have been talking more and more. Eventually, we can switch to Deku and Taroki. As Deku would have learned more about Taroki, as he would have become, become kind of a, you know, geek as he would have started to mention things about Taroki's family and saying how is being a Todoroki like. As Todoroki would just stretch it off, saying let's just leave me alone, let's just get to the car dealership and get out of this wretched city. As he would have been walking down the road quiet, as Todoroki said, stop, as he said he heard something. As Todoroki looks around, and as I mentioned, it is becoming dark, it's sunsetting right now. As they look around, as he hears a screech. As he thinks it's a normal zombie, but Deku senses something different. It's more sinister, something intelligent, but yet monstrous without a soul. As he would have looked up, as he would have seen a big, girthy dude with a leather type suit, pipes coming out of his body, and him looking like some sort of mutated, modified, cyberly enhanced type of individual zombie. As he would have jumped down, as this creature would have looked at them, and as and we switch to its point of view, as it has some sort of tech in its brain or built into its face, as it looks around and identifies Deku as a threat, a bio weapon. Basically, seeing that Deku's body has adapted to the virus and is his blood is literally the cure to everything that the government is trying to do in Japan, and Deku is the main well problem the reason why they sent down these killer modified zombies to take deku down because deku can lead to curing this virus and to stopping what they're trying to do in japan to break it down inside and out as what would happen as well this robotic type monster would have lunged right towards deku as deku would have booked out of the way as the zombie would have grabbed deku at the last second when he jumps out of the way Chucking Deku into a nearby building and almost breaking Deku's every bone. As Deku is thrown through the whole building as he starts to cough up blood as he falls into a nearby car. As he looks around as a normal zombie runs towards him. As Deku grabs a normal zombie and lets him bite him. As Deku starts to regenerate and pop his bone back in place. As Deku jumps away from the zombie and literally just punches right through his head. As Deku grabs another zombie head on the floor. He does some rope nearby and literally just, well, tapes her or rope, pretty much ties it around his leg, making it constantly bite him so, well, his body starts to fight back the virus, giving him his super strength and his powers from the zombies. As he would have started to, well, fight the zombie type creature. As he would have lunged towards Deku, as Deku would have dodged more and more attacks. As this creature would have grabbed Deku by the throat and would have chucked him into the ground, making a huge crater. As Deku would have been grabbed and chucked into a nearby building yet again. Side up as he would have fell into an office supply building as he would have had a pair of scissors as well. Stabbed up his, let's just say, booty, literally. As he would have ripped it out as his body would have started to heal. As Deku looks up as he sees the monster jumps right back up as he takes out a freaking bazooka and aims it right towards Deku at a six foot radius as literally this thing is only thing on his mind is murder he wants to kill Deku he doesn't care about his well-being he just his only mission is to eliminate Deku and all of his DNA as Deku dodges out of the way as he tries to run as far as he can away from the bazooka as the bazooka 
hits near Deku as Deku is blasted by it. As seemingly from Todoroki's perspective, Deku seems to be dead. As Todoroki fights back against his monster, as Todoroki is able to fight the monster, as the monster sees Todoroki as not a threat, it walks off, seeing that his mission is complete. As Deku, from afar, nearby a pond in a nearby well apartment building in the front, as his organs and his pretty much blown up body is all around this area of the city, this blown up area of the city. As we get switched to a key part of Deku's brain, where the majority of his memories or his, well, his key memories are stored, as Deku slowly and slowly starts to heal. Now we get switched to, well, Mina and Kirishima. As Kirishima and Mina are walking down, as they're almost near the car dealership, as they're stopped by chains right away. As they look around, as they see a long, skinny, lanky man in a leather suit with chains in his hands, with some sort of Sith, Sith or shickle at the end of the chain. As the man looks at them and whispers, death, as he would have lunged towards both of them, him moving his chain like it's a whip or moving his chain like it's a secondary arm, it basically moving around like a symbiote, it having a mind of its own, it being completely and utterly, well, very active for a chain. As Deku, I mean, as Kirishima would have blocked the attack, the first attack, as the other attack would have cut Mina's skin, as Kin Mina would have jumped back, as Kirishima would have hardened his skin, trying to fight back, as the chains would have much do damage on Kirishima, Kirishima being able to take some of the damage, but Mina getting cut left and right and starting to bleed out a little bit. As Mina would have tried to acid through the blades, as the blades had been made out of some sort of very, well, durable metal that couldn't be acided through or couldn't be dissolved through by acid. As the chains would have cut Mina's hands open since she would have grabbed the blade of the chains trying to, well, melt it, but nothing would have worked. So her hands would have been cut like her palm of her hands would have been gashed open. As Kirishima would have grabbed Mina and would have carried her away rattle style, trying to get her out of there as fast as possible. As well, the thing would have tried to hunt them down and would have chased after them. Him whispering or yelling, but I love the chase. As he disappears into the shadows, as at this point it would be nighttime, as Kirishima and Mina run off, as that Kirishima seems like, you know, we're out of the reach of that thing, as Kirishima stops by a nearby, pretty much store as he goes into the bathroom, walks the bathroom, sits Mina down and gets a first kid in and tries to repair her up or fix her up. As Mina says thank you Kirishima for saving me. As Deku, I mean Kirishima would have said no problem. It's the but it's the least I can do. As they would have looked at each other as they would have kissed them having a moment. As a relationship would have thrived in this universe. As they would have let's just say done the Devil's Tango, and we get switched to, well, to, we get switched to Todoroki. As Todoroki is walking around, as he sees Deku's blown up guts, as he is somewhat guilty that he couldn't help, and he sits down, crying to himself that he had a random kid he just met died, it was just murdered in front of his eyes, and he didn't even do anything. Now we get switched back, because that was a little quick, but we can switch back to Todoroki's family, or brother and sister, as their story isn't really interesting that much. They're just mainly, they have a smooth walk. They come across some zombies, but they relatively have a very smooth walk, so nothing really changes, for them at least. But we can switch back to the villains. Now what happened to the villains, is that we can switch to Dobby's story, as Dobby would have been running around the city, as he would have came across, we can switch to earlier, the day as you see Dobby running around the city as he would have heard a huge explosion that being well the bazooka from earlier as Dobby would have ran over there as we could switch to Dobby's story correlating with Todoroki's story as Dobby would have seen Todoroki on a bench crying over Deku's pretty much well broken or well blown up torso next to the well, bench as Dobby would have told the kid to get up as Dobby would have noticed Todoroki as soon as he Looked up, taking off his hood and seeing Taroki's hair, face, and seeing his father's eyes in him. As Taroki, Taroki would have tried to 
for some reason him feeling connected or recognizing Dobby. But Dobby would have brushed that off as Todoroki would have said, do I know you? As Tur Dobby says no, but I think I know you. Now, we can switch to Twice. As Twice would have been walking around the city as well, he would have been walking around as he would eventually come across some sort of van. As he would have opened the van, him opening the van and looking in there as he would have seen a bunch of high tech stuff. As he would have opened up a computer, seen documents, videos, and paperwork next to the computer of why they made this virus and why the government did it and why everything is happening in Japan. But Japan is a main source of this to happen. This is supposed to be a hate crime against Japan itself. As Twice sees all this, as he tries to get out there, as Twice is stopped by, well, a scientist. As a scientist is none other than the scientist that helped or told Deku who was Quirkus in the first place. The doctor said that Deku had some sort of enzyme or, I guess, protein quirk. As, I, as pretty much, the doctor says something about how the student here gave me the idea to do this all, all these years ago. All those years ago. Now, twice. I know who you are. And I sent my monster after you because I need your DNA for something very special. Now we get switched away from that. As we get switched. Enough of that. We're gonna get we're gonna switch right over to old Dobby and Todoroki. When we're switching over, we see that Dobby told Todoroki everything. Because it's already apocalypse. Why should he be keeping this facade this secret? So he tells Dobby everything about his father, about how he ran away, about how he's his older brother, and why he joined the villains. And Todoroki accepts this, accept this. As he welcomes Dobby in his arms as they talk. As we get switched, they are walking down to the car dealership area, trying to find a car to get them out of the edge of the city. As they get there, as they unite with everybody else. But Pretty much everybody is asking where Deku went. As Todoroki does dismiss this by asking what happened to Mina. As Mina just said she got attacked by some sort of crazy zombie dude. As well, Todoroki says me and Deku got attacked by somebody. But I don't think Deku made it. As everybody sits there silent. As we get switched to Deku walking up on them saying, hey guys. As Deku's in a new outfit, as everybody's confused on what just happened. As we get a flashback of after the aftermath of what happened. Now we see that Deku, when he when he was, you know, seemingly dead, as Deku's brain would have started to regenerate his body slowly and slowly, eventually making him a new body. As eventually he would become taller, more muscular, and his zombie side would have been permanent. Him constantly regenerating his body to its peak. As Deku would eventually walk off as he would have been strong enough. As he would have went around taking out zombies and eventually grabbing some clothing and getting getting ready on his walk back to the rest of the team. As he would have explored more of his new found abilities from his new, well, regeneration process. As he regenerated his body fully from zombie tissue and human tissue and also cork tissue. To make him the ultimate threesome of human, quirked human, and also zombie five DNA. As he would have all the powers of the zombies and no downfalls. As he would have regeneration abilities, superhuman speed, agility, strength, no pain receptors on top of that. And also Deku being able to speak zombie or communicate with them to help practically. And on top of all that, him being able to cure people from zombinism from only a drop of his blood in their mouth. As Deku literally cured about 15 people on the way here because zombies keep on biting him. And he literally could have told them to stop, but he wanted them to be cured. As Deku's powers were more stronger than they ever were before. As on top of all of that, Deku could turn people into zombies if he chose as well. Now, what would happen as well, Deku would have joined up with the rest of the Group. As a group would have seen Deku's new look, as Deku also would have had black hair now and completely grained out eyes. 
So what the team would do is they would introduce they would welcome Ducky Win as well they went into the cargo ship. As they would open the doors, as they wouldn't see cars, they would see computers, scientists, and all sorts of other things. As they would have looked around, as they would have seen scientists from years ago when they they when the scientists had told Ducky he was quirkless, saw so Ducky was saying, You're here, you're finally here. As Ducky was confused, saying, What do you mean? Who are you? As the scientist says, Oh, you don't know who I am. Well, I'm your creator, Deku. I'm the one that, well, willed you to be here. I'm the one that gave you that abyss in your heart. But eventually, you came to it. With the zombie apocalypse, you became the best you could ever be. As Deku was very much confused, saying, What do you mean, the best I could ever be? As he says, The best you could ever be is Zuku Doria. You were my curation. When you were born, I was there. I was the doctor that delivered you. I saw an opportunity. You were born, Korko Suzuki. That's no, that's a fact. But when I took you in the medical room, and your parents are waiting for you to, so they can bring you home after we did some tests on you, I went, I took you longer. I did tests on you time and time again, modifying you with zombie DNA, the genome different genomes and also cell manipulation i changed your genetic code and molecular structure i changed your genetic code your genetic code thousands of millions of times mixing it with every type of disease known to man eventually all of them mixing it to surprisingly a cure to everything cancer every sexual transmitted virus Everything that could possibly kill somebody that was a virus could be cured. Even death. You're immortal, Zuku. You know this now, don't you? After my pet blew you up, you came back in a matter of, well, hours. So, I'll tell you this. You will generate your whole body from a piece of your brain. That's impressive, is it, Midoriya? And I do know both of us know and you're not normal anymore, Zuku. You know that your power is far beyond your friends. I understand. You're immortal. You move faster, you're stronger, you're better, and you react faster, don't you? Because out of nowhere, a bullet would have came towards Deku. As Deku would have grabbed it with minimum effort. As Deku would have the same reaction time on par with Daredevil, Spider Man, and even Captain America. As Deku would have looked inside to say, saying, You're good experiments but now since you've reached your full potential i need to take you into the government rip you apart and genetically well synthesize you for all of, well time itself you are your body is a miracle your very blood can cure every disease ever made even diseases in the future that we might have so, this has to end now. I'm sorry, Zuko Doria. At least you had a good life before you become the government's bitch. So, what would happen is Deku would have gotten very angry as he would have ran toward a scientist, but out of nowhere, the big, early, well, zombie dude from earlier that blew up Deku got into a fist fight with him. As they would have started to humble each other down, as eventually the team would have tried to jump in, but then being stopped by the other zombie that attacked Kirishima. And Mina earlier, alongside that other zombie beaten, being basically accompanied by, by another genetic modified creature, it looking like Deku, but taller and older, as his version of Deku would have had a beard, and blue skin, and bright yellow eyes, as his body would have been covered in black veins. As he would have looked at the team, talking backwards, as he would have been a failed experiment of Deku's DNA, trying to make a clone of Deku. But the version of Deku would have made the opposite. Him being able to make new viruses at any time. Him being more of a killer, a world destroyer. Being able to make a plague in a matter of seconds. As well, he would have started to fight the group. As the fight, the group would have fought against these two well mo modified creatures. As they would have started to fight left and right. Todoroki using a huge blast of ice to try to freeze the other chain zombie 
the chains that he would have broke through the chains very e broke through the ice very easily using his chains and moving them with the speed of light causing the chains to turn uh, well well catch on fire and burn through the ice as he would have started to fight against everybody basically two of these guys overpowering the team but eventually Todoroki releasing his fire alongside Dobby as he would have fought back eventually burning both of the modified zombies as they would have looked at the group, as they would have heard something on the radio, it's saying that in about a nine hours or about eight hours, the bomb will strike. As they were told in the message a week prior that they had about five days to get out of the city. But now it's nine hours. So they had to get out of the city pretty fast. As they try to fight back, as they come across Deku, as Deku is up against the wall, getting beat into a bloody pulp, getting punched multiple times in the face, him coughing up gallons of blood, his body looking like it shouldn't even be moving after all the blood he dispersed from his body after this fight, as the Moldus well, being isn't as powerful or isn't as perfect as Deku's DNA itself, but it is very stronger and more brutal than Deku. As Deku overpowers this dude with his athleticism, as he rips off this big zombie's arm and shoves it up his, well, let's just say, his keister. Now, basically what happens as well, Deku takes him down pretty fast, as he grabs a grenade off the zombie's body and chucks it towards his, uh, chucks it towards the scientist's forehead. The scientist grabs the grenade saying, you, you can't do, and blow the bomb would have gone off. As it would have drafted more zombies, as he would have ran off, as he would eventually find a helicopter on the top of the building, them jumping into the helicopter. And Teroki saying, surprisingly, well, his father did sign him up for helicopter lessons, so he would have died in the, in the helicopter as they would have driven off or flew off, them getting out of the city and the bomb landing. Now, after that, they would them get out of the city, and eventually, a couple hours later, from afar, they would have watched the bomb hit. As Japan would have been dead, Japan would have been nuked. The zombie virus being stopped, but Deku still learned all of this stuff, all of this about him, as he was experimented on by the child, experimented on as a child, made to give the government what they want, to change the world. But Japan would have this. Japan suffered a complete and utter tragedy and on top of that he lost all of his family members his mother his friends and everybody he ever knew in japan was all dead now except for these groups of people but little did they know it was another story happening on the other side of japan with a multitude of other class class 40b students and class 1a students that weren't mentioned in this video and that could be a story for another time if you guys want me to make a what if my hero academia zombie apocalypse what if. But what happened for Deku was Deku would have gone into hiding. Oh, Deku would have gone into hiding. Mina and Kirishima would have gotten married about five years later. As Dobby and Todoroki and also the, you know, Todoroki family would have been able to just move on. Them going to other parts other parts of the world and them living their own life as Dobby would have became a tattoo parlor in North Dakota as well Todoroki would have moved to a desolate area and trained with monks for a couple years and the other Todoroki families they would have moved on finding lovers and eventually them getting married and the story would have ended off there now for twice Somewhere deep, deep in Japan, in the rubble, it would have been a tube, very powerful and very durable, it containing twice, and twice waking up, him being modified and transformed into something different, monstrous, and overall uncontrollable. Now I'm gonna leave it off here, guys. So, this is kind of a cliffhanger, but if you guys want me to make a you know complete series like my hero uh zombie apocalypse i can do that if you want me to but this is the end of what if deku was in the zombie apocalypse and i hope you guys enjoy the video 
Hope you guys like and subscribe. And as always, guys, have a blessed day. Deuces. And happy Halloween.